Okay, so we went ahead and installed all of our vented soffit along this run here. Um, we got to the end and a full piece didn't fit, so we just went ahead and trimmed it to length using a pair of tin snips uh, and then installed that last piece. Uh, so now we're ready to go ahead and install our aluminum uh, fascia here. Uh, it's a pretty simple product. It's just a piece of aluminum with some wood grain on it and then it has the bottom edge here which is going to come down and under um, and finish off our rough edge of um, soffit here. So this is a pretty simple product. Basically it's just going to come up right here. Um, it's going to get pushed up underneath our drip edge here. Um, nice and tight and then we're going to be able to nail it underneath here and this is why um, when we took that time to um, position our screws right out to the outside edge of that um, fascia board there. Now when we come in here, we can center our nail um, on this nailing flange here and we can be sure to not hit that screw. Um, so it's just gonna be a little bit easier for us here when we start nailing. Um, so what we can do here is we could go ahead and install this, um, but kind of thinking ahead here, um, we're gonna be wrapping around the corner here um, and finishing off our uh, soffit box. Um, so it's a good idea to be able to do that all in one piece. That way you don't have any cut edges um, and any holes in your fascia um, for any water or air to get into. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to make that cut um, before we actually start putting this up. So, gonna go ahead and put this down real quick. And then before um, we work on the front here. We're gonna walk around to the side. So I'm gonna come around here. And we're gonna take a few measurements um, on our soffit box here. So our goal here is to start in this corner here and wrap all the way around and then come towards the front um, and finish off on the front there. Um, basically, that's gonna cover um, across here. Um, and then when we run our fascia coming along this uh, fly rafter here, it'll overlap our front piece or our bottom piece here um, and make a nice, um, nice smooth transition. And then it'll overlap that piece so water can run off and not get caught behind there. So uh, what we'll do first is uh, take a measurement of how far from our wall to our corner here. And we got 11, 11 and a half. So can write that measurement down here so we don't forget. And then our front piece here is going to bend at looks like eight and an eighth. Oops. So I'll write that down and then we can run long across the front. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take our piece of fascia board. Okay. And then I'm going to transfer those measurements um, onto our fascia. So our first one was 11 and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and mark 11 and a half here. And then from there we went eight and an eighth. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure eight and an eighth here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut on each of these marks here, a nice square cut. Okay, and then on one of those sides, it doesn't really matter which side, you just have to, um, you just have to do one of them. Um, if you get good, you can just eyeball it, but if you want, you can use a speed square. Remember this hypotenuse of this speed square is at 45 um, degrees, and we wanna make a 45 degree angle here. So you can just use your speed square and draw a 45 degree angle. And we're gonna take that little triangle out of this piece here. And I'll show you why here in a second. Okay, 
There's one. And there's two. All right, so now when we bend this, that's going to form a 45 degree angle. Um, but we're not quite ready to bend it yet. Um, one easy way to bend these guys without any, um, any additional tools is you can square up that 90 degree cut you did on the bottom, square it up to the top on both of these guys, and then make a little, little cut on the top. And the reason why we do that um, is because when you have a little, a little slit, I'm just talking about an eighth inch here. That's gonna go up underneath our uh, drip edge anyway, so you won't see it. Um, but you basically have just made a guide now, and that should, if you give a little support behind it, bend right along that line. And you have a slit down here from your angle, so it should create a nice bend, 90 degree bend there. And now you can see, if we put that square part behind this angle, when you close it, it's gonna make a nice 45 degree angle. Um, and that's just a nice, a nice finished look there. All right, so there's one bend. And then we're gonna do the same on this other piece here. Just get it started there. All right. And we wanna get that 90 degree part behind the miter there. All right. So after you get it bent, you can just kind of take your thumbs and kind of crisp up that corner just a little bit. But now you have two nice bends and that is one continuous piece now um, all the way around. Um, so there's no cuts on any of these corners and it'll be a nice uh, weather tight seal here. So now that we got our bend um, pre-cut here, we can go ahead and get back up on the scaffolding and start to install this piece. So I should mention before, uh, before we start um, nailing this into place, um, they make these colored trim nails here. Um, and these are really nice. Um, one, they are the same color as your fascia. If you're using like brown fascia, they make brown nails. Same with green and um, tan, whatever. Whatever colors they sell at the store, they usually have the same color nails. Um, so the nice thing about these is they're colored and they have a little ring shank um, texture to them. So they work really, really nicely. Once you put them in, they're pretty difficult to come out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this on the edge here. Make sure it fits before we get it nailed into place. All right, for some reason our backside looks a little long here, so looks like I need to take about a half inch off. Um, and then we'll be nice and tight here. Okay, so I went ahead and trimmed that piece to length there now. Um, and now we fit nice and tight all the way around our soffit box. Got a nice um, tight fit over here. And I've now pushed this um, fascia up underneath this drip edge here um, that we've got on here with our roof. Um, so now that drip edge uh, holds the top of this fascia tight um, to our sub fascia, and now we'll be able to nail underneath. Um, so when we nail this stuff, um, again, we, this is a finish work here, so we wanna take our time, uh, make sure we don't uh, hit um, the metal with our hammer. And when we position our nails here, we wanna position these nails right in the middle of any of these grooves. Um, if we nail in the flat of the soffit here, basically there's nothing behind it to support it. Um, so it's just gonna push that flat part up to the bottom of our fascia board. Um, and it's just not gonna look nice when we're done. So you wanna get these nails right in the middle of a groove. Make sure you're up underneath your drip edge. Get them started. 
And then you carefully just want to nail them in and you want to just get the head um, touching the bottom of the metal. So you don't want to drive it too far, otherwise um, it's going to create a dimple in your fascia. And then you could also have a, a rippled front. So just carefully. Tap it until it's flush there, okay? So then we wanna work on down the line here, making sure we're behind our grip edge. Okay, looking pretty good. And then I'll put, put a nail towards this side here. So then after we get that side started, we can come down around here and focus on getting our uh, corner over here nice and neat. So what I like to do um, is go ahead and put a face nail in here. Cause again, remember your, um, your fly rafter uh, fascia is gonna come on over this. So this will just help keep that fascia nice and tight. So that nail is going to be covered by the fascia that comes down along here. So then uh, the only other spot that I like to nail, because um, this, this nail is going to get hidden as well, is right here in this top corner. We're going to have some uh, J channel, vinyl J channel, uh, hiding this nail. So you just wanna make sure that your bottom is pushed up all the way. So then we are nice and secure all around this corner. So after we get those few nails in, all we have to do then is nail um, this bottom part about every uh, two or three feet. And that'll be enough nails to hold this uh, fascia board in place. So we'll go ahead and finish nailing off this piece before we uh, put our next piece on. Okay, so we went ahead and completed our soffit box down here, um, and now we've moved on to our fly rafter uh, fascia here. So um, basically what we've done is this is one continuous piece. Um, if you need to splice them, you can. Just make sure you overlap um, one piece onto the other about two inches. And then also remember that your top piece is overlapping onto your uh, bottom piece because water's going to shed down this way and we want it to over or run over onto the bottom piece. So what we've done is um, we've ran it long up past this top here. Um, and the purpose for that is when we bring in our next piece here, um, we've cut a 45 degree angle here or the pitch of the roof. Our, Again, our pitch is 12-12 on this. Um, you would cut whatever that plumb cut is. Um, and since we've ran this one long, this one now can overlap it and it makes it so there's a nice uh, mitered um, angle there. So it just has a, a lot better finish than it um, running long like this. Um, so as long as you overlap your miter um, onto this piece, then you'll have a nice finish up top here. Um, down on the bottom, what we've done is uh, we've cut off the bottom part of the nailing flange down here. Um, so from this point right here down to the bottom, that's where that nailing flange used to be. We just sliced it off and then ran it long and then made another plumb cut um, towards the bottom and then just snipped this little bottom corner off. Um, so that then overlaps that uh, soffit box that we just made. Um, and finishes off real nicely. Um, 
we try to use a minimum amount of these finish nails down there. Um, it's the same nails that we are using to install it from um, below. Um, but basically what you want to do is just put enough in so that this piece of fascia sits nice and tight to uh, the soffit box down there. So um, this piece is already installed. What we're going to do now is just install our last piece here. Again, we're over overlapping our uh, front piece here that um, ran long. We'll go ahead and nail it up to our fascia. Again, I'm making sure that I'm in the groove of a piece of soffit. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put two, uh, two face nails in here. And again, this is finished work, so you wanna try to make them nice and even and straight. So what I mean by um, even and straight, I have one that's about a quarter inch in. I'm gonna put another one down here that's about a quarter inch in. I'm not gonna put it way over here. One that's not gonna do anything for this seam and it just looks horrible. Um, so try to make it look nice. There you go. And then that seam will stay nice and tight. So. After we get these installed, um, basically we just continue all the way around the house till all the fascias uh, installed. Um, we have another soffit box that we can put on on the other side, um, and then the other side of the house for the fly rafters to put on.